Hi. Bit of a cold open this time. Um, the video you're about to watch is about the latest Soul Belly barbecue songwriter showcase. And, uh, well, I didn't want to have you watch it without hearing this news first. At the time I recorded it, I didn't know about this, but, uh, well, at the time of recording, last Thursday, a brilliant star in the local songwriting universe burned out. Uh, Russ Lacasse, this amazing singer-songwriter and, and person in general, passed away in his sleep. Um, Russ was a two-time Grammy-recommended songwriter, loved writing with other people. He also was a you know solid or original songwriter of his own, and I'm very pri privileged that he graced Room 6 with an interview and a, and a performance. Um, Russ never had an unkind word for anyone, not even his ex-wife. He was a gemologist. He lived um, by himself in Santa Claus, Arizona, in a trailer, and uh, that was the way he wanted it. And yet he would make the time to drive all the way to Las Vegas to be on the showcase multiple times in multiple locations and to be on this little YouTube channel. So, Russ, you'll be missed, and this one's for you. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local original music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back in downtown Las Vegas' Arts District at Soul Belly Barbecue for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. And this time, it was his birthday. Hola! You! It's your birthday, we're here to party and sing to you. This gathering of musicians and music lovers is always a great time, and Soul Belly is a perfect live music venue for it. It's been a whole month since the last one, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some old friends, meeting some new friends, and stuffing my face with some tasty grub. This video is brought to you by Stand Up To Cancer. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. In case you're new here, this event happens once a month and is a showcase of some of Las Vegas' amazing local songwriting talent. With most of the performers being past or future channel alumni, every gathering feels like a Room 6 reunion and is full of fun, awesome music, and terrific food. So, you can check out my venue review of Soul Belly Barbecue here when you're done watching this video. If you'd like to be on the showcase, hit up House of R using the social media handle on screen or down in the description. If you'd like to be on Room 6, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the Room 6 email address or by clicking the Room 6 social media link down there as well. That's also where you'll find ways to support the channel, uh, help me support the local music scene, and, you know, pick up maybe some merch or be a patron on my Patreon page. Pick up one of my CDs. All of it, all of it helps, all of it m makes such a difference to me, I, I really appreciate you all. Kicking things off like usual was our host, Hal Savar. Hal's passion is local original music, but his day job is being a human jukebox, performing cover songs all around town. This showcase allows him to highlight his singer-songwriter friends and get his own original music out there as well, and all of it is full of backstory and emotion. The next batter up is Dennis Blair, who's both a singer-songwriter and a comedian. What have we got here? A comedian. Dennis's music is part spiritual, part folk, and part comedy, all mashed up. Always a crowd favorite, he was a great way to pick up the torch how lit for the packed house. Coming up next was Robert Hayes, making his triumphant return to the showcase stage. Bonus fact, he also works for Soul Belly. <laughs> Blending soul with R&B, Robert flipped the script on the mostly acoustic showcase, with beats and a lyrical flow that oozed chill vibes and easy sensuality. Robert had the crowd in the palm of his hand. The next performer was Aubrey Digital, an amazingly talented songwriter that is always welcome on the showcase stage and has been nice enough to grace Room 6. Aubrey's songwriting style can be summed up in one word, intricate. Complicated guitar riffs and clever wordplay make her music a treat for every music lover and I'm so proud that she graced Room 6 with an interview and performance. The next act of the night were Room 6 alumni all at odds. 
Performing with a new bassist, the band immediately made the lights go out. <coughs> Just kidding. But the lights did go out for a minute. It was scary. Anywho, their set was fun and the addition of the bass added more depth to an already great band. And the best part? The lights came back on. Yay! And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks Josh from the past. Generally, I'm an easygoing guy with love for most people and things. But you know what I really hate? F***ing cancer. Like many of you, it's affected my family too. And it really needs to go. In fact, there will be 5,200 people diagnosed with cancer today alone. That's why I'm partnering with Stand Up To Cancer. Stand Up To Cancer funds and develops the newest and most promising cancer treatments to help patients today. They dramatically accelerate the rate of new discoveries by connecting top scientists in unprecedented collaborations to create breakthroughs. Their innovations lead to better cancer preventions, diagnoses, and treatment, which means that we can help save lives now. They're committed to funding ambitious and robust research and awareness efforts focused on incorporating health equity in cancer care for the benefit of all patients facing cancer. The best part? 100% of your donations supports Stand Up To Cancer and its collaborative cancer research programs. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your first order when you sign up for email. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel and the cancer fight. Thanks to Stand Up For Cancer for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Up next was the power duo of Emily Stinnett and Nathan Peterson, up and coming showcase guests and future Room 6 guests, and they're now going under the moniker Beyond the Arrow. Weaving Americana and folk throughout relatable storytelling, Emily and Nathan each played exactly what the songs needed. Emily's vocals rang out clear and strong as Nate's lead guitar worked to support each musical offering. Coming up next was Lance Gittinger, who started as a showcase audience member and fan before making the leap to showcase favorite. Lance's set was simple and stripped down by comparison to the previous acts, but he still brought it with honest and straightforward energy. His lyrics were evocative and told stories about love, loss, and memories from his past. Coming up next was Joe LaRocco, also known as Joe the Associate. And Joe was not alone. Joe was helped out by members of the Soulful Sons, the act that would follow him. Joe specializes in music that sounds familiar and classic, like Pink Floyd or Joe Walsh, but with a little quirkiness mixed into his lyrics. It's fun to listen to him play, and the crowd enjoyed his set. Once Joe was done co-opting his band, Quinn Turner took his rightful place at the helm of the Soulful Sons. The Soulful Sons specialize in music that's tongue-in-cheek and full of innuendos for sexy time. Blending R&B with blues, the band did a great job of evening everyone out and put a nice nightcap on the night. Overall, this month's installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was one for the books. I hope we'll see you at the next one, either in person or on the live stream. It's on February 19th, and uh, yeah, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll swing by Soul Belly Barbecue if you're in the area of Main Street in uh, Las downtown Las Vegas' Arts District. <laughs> yeah, um, I can speak. Make sure you check out all the acts featured in this video by using their social media that's uh, I've put down in the description. Oh, what else? Oh yeah! Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, it really does make a difference, click up there. And if you want to hear my own original music, click over there. And you know what? I really do appreciate everybody on that list over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.